most of our trips start out at the gas station, so here we are. Today we've got to dig six or seven cars out of the woods. This is why we decided to trailer the Jeep. We're glad that we got it running because this is going to be really handy. None of our trucks that are four-wheel drive work right now, so the only thing we have is the blue truck and the Jeep is four-wheel drive. It's also really short, so it'll be able to navigate in and out of the woods really well. So here we go. It's going to be a long, hot day. Look at that. If you want a video, you can video however long. Well, we made it. So we got the Jeep back here. We'll unload that. This is the path and what we have to deal with. Yeah, I think cutting this thicket right here. We've got to cut all this down and inside that patch is the seven cars. A few minutes later, we finally have an entrance. I don't know how long that took us, but it's 10.04 now, 10.05. Yeah. So here's the start of our path. Daniel had been cutting down this way, trying to meet me in the middle with the tree chopping. If you want to start this way and go this way, I'll start down here. And we're gearing up to do the same thing again. I'm going to start up here. Daniel's going to start down there. We're going to try to get this Pontiac Bonneville out first. Mainly because it's blocking all the other cars in. Slid down the hill there. Oh my goodness, get caught out of there. So we've got one, two, three, four, it's the van, five, six, a BMW and another Malibu dirt car race car. And we've got to get them all out. And there's also miscellaneous stuff scattered around. We found three of these Trans Am wheels so far. We're hoping to find the other one. As well as other cars to, or no, other cars, gosh I'm tired. Other wheels to put on that one hopefully so we can drag it out. It'll just make our life much easier if they all have wheels and tires. I'm going to put this down and get back to work. It's a really good thing that we fixed the Jeep because we didn't know that we were going to be using it so soon for woods activities.
cut. Oh, can I just go over it? Maybe, yeah, I guess so. I couldn't get it with a lobster trap. Yeah, you ran over it. Boop. It flopped back up, it's fine. If you don't know the backstory on the Jeep, there is a video we just posted a few weeks ago if you want to watch it. We hit three cows in the Jeep. We didn't see them and we were coming back home at night and we destroyed the front end. So it's been down for a year and this is our first time since we put it back together that we're using it. in four wheel drive? Yeah, it's in four wheel low. That ain't gonna work. It's moving it. No, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna break the strap. Oh. If I had that car out of gear, I might. Oh, is that the problem? Well, yeah, it's in gear. And there's no key? Yeah. And the steering wheel's gone. Fabulous. Oh, and now my strap's going to be getting dirty if you want me to be honest. I'm worried about <laughs> snakes. <laughs> I don't care about like that. I'm gonna see if I can get the hood pop to sign the ship link and I'm making my hood fur out of here under the hood. Yeah that's not a real reason for not liking getting in cars. I don't like to be dirty. in the motor that's for sure <laughs> we had a sneaking suspicion this dude was into race cars and hot rods that maybe this car was something to say. yeah we were like why would he keep this pontiac like bonneville like we're like maybe it's one of those supercharged ones that like you know you hear of that are sleepers that you don't really see anymore and guess what it is our suspension suspend our suspicions were right for once yes. <laughs> Usually they're not. Yeah, usually we don't get that. Usually we're like, oh, that maybe have the good motor in there. It turns out it has the worst motor in there. But this one has the really good motor in there. We can make this our new going to town rig. that do it? Yeah, kind of sure. So at a minimum it'll roll backwards now. I almost don't want to smash it against the tree now. <laughs> well, I was going to use this tree as a fulcrum and just... Yeah, but we don't have a title. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably better to find another body. Are the supercharged bodies different? No. There's some trim that's different, like that spoiler, I think, specific.
what I was kind of thinking, yeah. Then what? Pull it from backwards up yeah, that way? get it over there in that hole and then pull it this way. Yeah. Alrighty, got more work to do. All right, different approach angle. We cut that section and it's moving now. You could if you aim for that hole. See that hole right there? Yeah. I can't, I don't want to shorten Yeah. I'm going to shorten the strap up. I don't have to go that much further. Yeah. Look at this sexy Pontiac. We're gonna build a sleeper Bonneville. <laughs> there you go. Take a Bonneville to Bonneville. There you go. <laughs> hey, it fall into a small displacement supercharge category but production. Ah. That's probably good. <laughs> you crunch the mirror. So you crunch the mirror. I don't care about the mirror. I think the Trans Am's okay. Although I think those mirrors are specific to the Super Truck. Don't they have a hole in them right here? Uh, no. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Some of them have a like hole right here. For what? That mirror. I'm gonna unhook from this, and I might try to push it. Third time. Hopefully this is the winner. If we get against the tree and it won't move, I guess you could crawl across.
shorten my strap up.
one down and it is 12.55 we also loaded some motors and some parts to motors as well so we got a full load going back home well we're back for round two car number two same day different shirt different vehicle it's 104 out here today and we just couldn't take the no AC anymore. So we picked up the AC vehicle. The car that we're going to get this go around is this Trans Am. We've found three of the wheels so far. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Still looking for the fourth. Maybe it'll pop up. So I came over here and I saw a thing. Hold the tag down. There's keys. So we can see what's in the trunk without having to break anything. And we can unlock the steering column. What's in the trunk? Oh, motor parts. Goodies. Pontiac motor parts. The block to this car is in yonder van in there. And I found the transmission in the woods. Van. Transmission over there. I'm gonna cut this tree. I'm gonna put these right here. I'm gonna cut that tree and so I can get to the other side. And we're still looking for the other wheel. I've not found it yet. It's gotta be Unless they just like to get rid of one wheel for every set. I uncovered those. I think those, one of those matches one of those. I found three over there. I found three of another set over there. This dude just like has things in threes.
smidge that way. Because you're kind of running off the trailer. Alright, now straighten it up. Maybe just a hair more. There you go. Over that way, just a little. It's riding the rail. That way. up on one side I didn't catch that till then our winch is bunching up on one side I was wondering I was like why is it struggling so bad it's also struggling because this car has all the weight in the back and it's just all weighted discombobulated yeah um you have to back this up and fix it I mean back it up Yeah. You don't pay attention to that. I'm just getting these pressure off. If I stand on the trailer all the time with my foot, I know you've watched me stand up there with my foot. Yeah. All right, I'll get that for you. Okay. See, the bottom is red. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Maybe just a little, yeah. Yeah, you're about to fall off. Or trying to fall off over there. They're getting traction. They're getting traction. It might jump over that. Good lord, that's bad to this side. Wiggle the car. Louvers. Because it's long? No, because all the weight's in the trunk and there's no motor in it. Well, that's what I mean. It's really long. It's got a long hood. What? Sponsored by Mountain Dew. This one is loaded, strapped down, ready for transport. Before we run out of darkness, because we're not going to be able to make another trip before it gets dark and come back, we're going to see if we can get the van to move out of its hole. Ideally, we'd love to have it right here so we could come back, you know, a darkness and load it, but we don't know what's going to happen. We're just playing it by ear.
I know it's hard to see in video, but this hill right here is super steep. college I took a course where the whole semester I tracked these guys four to five hours a week and that was my class I guess while we're on the weird classes that I took in college another one of the college classes the whole semester was just clearing a trail it was like our project I forgot what the class title was called but basically we built a trail for a school in Gainesville, Georgia, a cross country trail. And that was our class the whole semester. My degree is in physical education and a minor in biology. Daniel likes to call it a degree in recess and frogs, which that's pretty much essentially what it is, to be honest. Am I using that currently? Currently building trails, taking down trails, sure. it halfway up and then I was like well I'll just let him cut it. the other ones 85 and what was the other one well the other one was later
The window doesn't roll down. I think it will. There we go. What? I'm ready when you are. His has lockers. Ours doesn't have any of that fancy stuff. So hopefully between the two, we can get this done. With a slight delay, hashtag waiting on Brad, Jeep number two is finally entering the woods. Watch out for that. Watch out, hey, hey. The aluminum. Sure. We are double jeeping it today.
it moved. Is it exciting? Yeah. We could. We could back my trailer all the way to the edge and then use your snatch block on that tree and run my cable through it. And she can stand up there and work that winch. It'd be better than the come along. Yeah. If we have enough winch cable. If we don't, we have a long ratchet strap. Yeah, let's do that. Work smarter, not harder. Like, isn't pulling, isn't pulling. Like it's not working. Yeah. It's, it's, it's working, it's just, it's just max, max out. Okay, well, we'll get a little more aggressive. <laughs> or swap that battery with this Jeep. Do you need some slack? No. All right. New angle. Came through the yard. Yeah, and we're gonna grab these guys. Okay. Got to get well, no, the we're chain. gonna move it backwards <laughs> so we can get the there's a chain hooked to a tree. Yeah, so we're moving it backwards to get the train slack. <laughs> Not the train. The chain. Yeah. Yeah. BMW is next. For all you people that hate on import stuff, at least they come with tow hooks. I got that.
That's scary.
window down so you can hear me. Pull forward a little bit. Snatch. Box. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Woo. Next up is this race car. We're going to see if for right now if we can just slide it over so that we can come and get it on our own. Thankfully, this one has all of its wheels and tires. You know, if you hit the tree with it, as long as it's moving, I don't know if I care. Sure. Is it in gear or does it even have a transmission? Uh, it's, I, I think it's in gear. Did it break that one too? Broke the bumper. Daniel's got this one pumped up. Working on that one being pumped up. And then in the meantime, he found the fourth slot wheel, which is exciting. We think that those will fit on the Nissan that we have. Since they're four lugs, we'll have to measure the spacing. But that would be fabulous if they did. Then we don't have to have wheels and tires for that because right now those are mismatched. John's almost got that side pumped up. They all took air. I'm fixing to see if, if this will move again. Let's 
give it just a minute to get air. We're waiting on air. I can't leave all four hooks going to air. <laughs> nice. This one is rolling. rolling. This is barely rolling, but that's not rolling at all. Yeah. Do we care about the tree? The reason it wasn't moving might be because this is a twin stick shifter. I'm gonna do this one. He knocked it out of gear, put them both in the same position, and away yeah. it's rolling. It'll go straight. That's the best you're gonna do. You may put it in gear to lock the back so you can slide it around. Yeah. Hammer. It's got a hammer shift transmission. Takes a man to drive it. Try that. Didn't need that one. So I'm borrowing the rollback. You can go. Bad things happen. Bad yeah. things happen? As long as it's moving, just go. Okay. I probably wouldn't pull it onto his property. Nice. So what happened there? <laughs> I've never seen that. The axle broke, but it broke around the hub or the like right inside the bolts. The flange broke off. Really? Yeah. 
So I'm glad that happened before I made this run and tried to race it. That got hit when this wreck happened and we no one realized it because it hasn't been a problem yet. Yeah. Okay. Out of the way. We're back again. This time for the number four car. We almost lost count. It's been a long week. But trying to get this guy today. What? 16 car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's good? I don't know why it's so stuck in the ground. I don't know. Check out those muscles. Easy on the tree. Let me do that. <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like it's a little crunchy now. <laughs> on the flip side, though, we're almost straight enough to load it. Yeah. <laughs> the tree is like, oh my gosh, what are you doing to me? I'm trying real hard to be gentle with the tree and not drag it over on the car. Is that what it will do? Yeah. Like fall? Yeah. Or, or just split in half? Oh, it's like some finger getting action. If you didn't know what you're doing. This. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were actively cutting the strap. But I think <clears throat> that's good enough to load it if we chained it this side with the winch. Yeah. It'll walk it. If not. If we have trouble with it, we'll use the come along yeah. on the trailer. Cleared. It's a whole lot easier to do this when it's cool. Yeah.
The last time we were over here, the temperature was 104 with no breeze. It is currently 74. That is a major improvement. Still dealing with the bugs, but having to deal with just one thing instead of the heat and the bugs is much better. We are running off the trailer. We tried to turn the wheels manually by hand. Couldn't get them to do what we wanted. So out comes the come along again. We're also scared that if we pull the truck forward, the front wheels may do something that we don't want them to do and may make it worse. So this is the solution to that. the reality of what's going on. It's not always a cakewalk when you get cars. It's just pulling down on it. it's going into the wood right here. trying to scoot over to the Yeah, or else you're going to be fighting with it the whole yes. rest of the way. Spins. 
Oh. Shark has no weight. What if I stand in the back That's of it? That's not enough. I'm going to tear these people's yard up. Oh. Keep pulling it. We'll just keep coming along. For once, I'm not heavy enough. We are almost there. We're trying to hurry up and get this loaded because Daniel just stepped on this piece of solid ground. Back it off. That is not solid. Back it on. Can you take a look at that? There's no like dirt and ground in there. It, it's like a hole for a while. It's super close to the trailer. We're back to get number five. We've got the trailer over on the neighbor's side. And our plan is to make a path to get to the van and pull it from the front side instead of going up the hill towards the Jeep way up there. We're hoping that this will work because we're running out of time snake the truck and the trailer through the woods and a long bed truck at that this is not what we like to do with this truck um, I know it's our shop truck but we don't like doing this kind of stuff, but it's the only thing that we have right now uh, besides the Jeep. Uh-oh, it's spinning. There we go. So we're making the best of it. The bank. Huh? We ran into the bank is what's going on. Yeah, the problem is I don't have a hitch. I have a bumper ball and I can't turn any tighter. So, oh, so even if we cut those trees, you wouldn't be able to cut that's not. If you cut those trees, I might get back up a little bit more. But I don't know that I need to. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm thinking when I hook the winch to it, that it's going to pull the trailer around a little bit. Or I can come along the trailer to the tree and pull it around. And pull it that, pull the trailer yeah. that way? Yeah. Okay. Because that's what I need. I need the trailer to go. And I have, I'm on this chain. If I get this chain out. It might give you a smidge more. If I got that chain out, I can go a little bit more. Yeah, you were just running into that. Um, and I think it maybe would have jumped it if I could have. So yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook the cable to that van and then we're going to hook it to the corner of the trailer with a strap, hmm. like a snatch block. Yeah. And see if it'll just pull the trailer over. Oh, I'll give a pretty much your man covered. He needs it. Yeah. All right, you wanna go pump my tires up while I get all this ready? Yeah. All right, van. Your time has come to get out of here. I would like it if you would crouch down and stay down. Yeah, I don't like Cause there's a lot of cable tension.
smoking. Should I stop? Yeah, probably. Three hooks on the other side. We're going to have to keep going back and forth to shuffle it. Yeah. We're getting closer, closing the gap. Thank goodness. This one has put up a fight. This guy is the last one.
me. I don't understand like why this is being able to pull it in two Jeeps were four wheel drive Jeeps. song where you talk about hadn't seen the sunlight in three dang days by uh, Kid Rock and Cheryl Crow. Yeah, that's this van. Hasn't seen the sunshine in who knows how long. A lot of days. Today is our last day. Well, maybe. Or our last day getting the six car. We'll have to come back and get the Jeep. But it feels so good to finally be done. Daniel can't see the trailer. So I have to sit on the trailer and mosquitoes help him out. <laughs> they are in full force today. We got the fix that issue. Into the woods we go! Here it goes! This is the path we gotta to clear today. This is the car we're gonna get. It's another Malibu. But we're hoping we can just pull it right down through here. That's the game plan. Well, we've made fairly quick work of making a path for this guy. Thankfully, there wasn't too many big things to cut. 
big one's fixing to go. Probably right on the car, but oh well. Sacrifices must be made. Better the car than our truck. Timber. But the paint. <laughs> Oh wow. You got a motor and trans, but it's got a converter. Probably gonna need to get that rid of that one. Uh, yeah, maybe. Custom oh, wow. grill. You see the custom grill? No. It, it's pretty custom. Oh my god. <laughs> Get that out of here. <laughs> it was handmade though. Okay. We're about to hook this. I actually don't think it's going to be that hard to pull. You're going to knock all this junk out? Yeah. Well, you could knock it straight to the side. I care if I like hurt the body on the, the body is nice but like caring about it it's gonna make this take way longer yeah. I think I'm in a position where I would rather just make it be on the trailer but you dented the roof well, I'd rather these whatever these wood insects thing not be at our house Valid point. Let me see. I'm gonna need an access for it. Get a lawn township to have vanilla seesaw. <laughs> Riding the way. Jump harder. Perfect. All right. All right, I'm turning this off for a minute. Here it comes, hopefully. I should move that brick. I didn't got to get that strap and 
hook it to that tree over there so I can pull the car this way. Ah, uh, instead of on the thing. Well, I'm trying to move the trailer right now. Ugh, getting dirt all over me. Daniel changed the pivot points, so instead of pulling on this tree, we're now pulling on this one over here. And we don't have a snatch block with us today. We just have this strap, so we're making the best of it. So that you can have both ramps down? Yeah. Or, or I could strap this to it and maybe since the car is here, I don't know if it, I don't think it's got enough pull. Um. Self-removing converters are always fun. Uh-huh. You look at the little hole. This is a new thing for us. Usually we always have to have the ramps or try to jack the trailer up to use the ramps. No ramps today, hopefully. pain off of it. Huh? Just for the record, this fender was already smashed in. Ease it on. Try to ease it on. Daniel rehooked the winch to the back of the car, so hopefully it'll pull the back end around using that same tree. to get this packed up trash out. I yeah. think what I need to do is put my winch cable back in the middle and then get one of them steel plates here. Because I don't think we're on this one yet. Ooh. Did you put that axle strip in there today? Or has it been in there? No, I just put that in there. I'm on this plate. And the other one. I should have brought more of these. I have four of them. 
I thought that we did have four in there. No, there's only two in the truck. Mm -hmm. I got those things with wheels on them. There's also probably a large amount of like random sheet metal. Daniel's so creative. We forgot our pry bar. But this ramp sure does act like a good one when you need something. I need something to put under the ramp. Like what? I'm still going to use a piece of this wood, but it's all rotten. We're going to try it. There's a brake rotor over there. might be your problem the this what? piece of sheet metal is sticking between the bumper and that like creating like a resistance that's fine it's helping this walk out oh that's fine. um we get you somewhere now yeah i thought that our property was bad around the shop of mosquitoes, but this place is awful. There's like 30 of them flying around Daniel right now. It'll be good. Jack is in place. And we are rolling. Your jack wheel's kind of in the thing. Huh? Your jack wheel's in the middle of the yeah. wood. Did it stop or did you stop? It stopped. I think that's the problem. I don't think it's the whatever for once. And you said, nah, I'd be fine. 
Well, usually it throws a bit. Okay, maybe it wasn't that broken. No, it's stuck in the back or on the ground. Or on a stump or something. Something dumb. We removed a stump that was hanging the car up and we replaced the battery. Well, we didn't replace the battery. We hooked the truck battery up so we got both that. And it's coming along again. We didn't end up getting any footage of it getting on the trailer the rest of the way. Our GoPro died. We didn't have any more batteries with us, but we did get it back home. We actually already did sell it as well, so it's gone. And the BMW, we don't really have much of it left either. We started parting it out. Um, so stay tuned for the rest of the four cars to see what we're going to do with them. Thank you guys for watching this really long video. This is our first ever long video, so thank you for sitting through that. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you on the next one.